Hi, I'm Boris. Hi, I'm Igor. We are no mechanics. Definitely not. Definitely not. We are here to show you another of our video. Hope you're gonna like it and get something out of it. And enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. Guys, this is super tight. Rattle gun doesn't want to get it. And I'm helping my brother here. Yep, he got it now. We had that clunk. Um, yeah, so that was really, really super tight. Yeah, it was. There we go. There we go. So now we can use either rattle gun or... Just bust me in. Whatever. Here you go. Either a rattle gun or a uh, ratchet. Ratchet. One or the other. I still got to hold this. So, as you can see, I doubled up the spanners. Okay. Alright, now, now this ball obviously not going to be removed right now easy because it's right now the weight of the diff uh, pushing on the control arm, pushing onto the ball, so you can't just remove it. Alright, so we after we undo the other side, we're going to have to lift the diff up a little bit so the weight comes off from the ball and it should. Theoretically speaking, just slide out. Yeah. In the good world. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's get on the other side. Alright, so we loosened up the bolt from that side. Um, what size was it again? 18 and 18. 18 and 18 mil. Uh, this one is a nylon Loctite. So, just to give you guys a rough idea what you're dealing with. Um, so yeah, now we'll do this side, same thing, so what I'm doing is I'm just gently going to raise it up to remove weight from it. Now if you go too high it will jam, if you go too low it will jam as well. Now this ah. one is a bit rusty. And it looks like they actually applied Loctite, the liquid one. Nah, I can only see corrosion Boris. Because um, you can either... Uh, That's corrosion. I think? Yep, I'm positive. Where's that uh, uh, ball? You had a ball. Are you still recording here? Yeah, oh, here we go. I found it. It's yeah, right we'll here. Tied it up and so, we'll put it in a bucket. Yeah, we're basically keeping everything together, guys. So it won't get lost. All right, same thing, 1818 Loctite. So with this side, guys, that's the nut. That's the nut here. That is the bolt. What size is it? Uh, 18 as well. 18 mil. So I'll just refread it back because I can't chuck it in the bucket um, because the other part of it is here. So I'll just keep it all together. So we lift up that upper control arm, just like that. Well, if you're in a more comfortable position, it will be easier to remove. But anyway, same same deal. And that's it. The differential is out. It's off. It's not. It's not held by anything. Well, I'll just show you in a second. I'm actually gonna move it a bit. Get it out a bit underneath the car. As you can see, it's not held by anything. There you go. Anyway, so I'll give you a hand, Boris. Boris, Just your brake move lines. The, move the control Your brake lines. Okay, well, you saw how it rolled forward back. Um, now I gotta get off the camera because I gotta give you my hand to remove it. And that's how you remove a diff from a Fairlane 93 model. Alright, so we can't use a rattle gun there because of the exhaust. Actually, hold on. Yeah, no. No. Um, so we're going to use a breaker bar on that side. It's a 22, 24. 24 mil. I think it's 24, yeah. Have a look. 
Yep, 24 mil. So 24 mil on this side. And 18 mil on the other side, as you can so see. So that's to unscrew the lower control arm. Yep. Completely off. There you go. To unscrew the lower control arm, completely off. It's, um... Turn it off. <laughs> it's uh, clockwise to tighten it up. Lefty Lucy, tidy. No, righty tidy. Lefty yeah, that. Lucy. 24 maybe. Maybe you rather off this socket, Boris. Because yeah. that one could be too long and you yeah, will yeah. just angle it. Am I shining in your eyes sometimes? No, fine. So I gotta go up. You gotta go up. Up? up. Do you? Wait. Yeah, go up. yeah, up. Yeah, you do oh, gotta go up. I gotta go down. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, I think. So there's mom. And there's my brother's muscles. What muscles? He is strong boy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. He's much stronger than I am. <laughs> so are you or are you not? Yeah, look, guys, once again, you know, we're not mechanics. Uh, we only do what we can. Like, we're not afraid to give it a go once again. That's the biggest thing about it, is just giving it a go. And look, we, you know, we work with what we got, you know, so obviously mechanics would do this job a lot quicker. On the hoist? Know, on the hoist with a lot better tools. Bang, 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 bang. This whole job that we're doing probably could be done at mechanics. Um, within, what do you reckon, Igor? A day or two? Two tops. days. Yeah, just a weekend. Yeah, tops. If you got a hoist and stuff like that. So, that's why my brother here decided to film this. Just to give maybe like-minded people like us uh, out there who don't have a hoist. Who don't even have a, ga who don't even have a garage. Um, but not afraid or want to, you know, work on their own cars or do the own thing give some tips basically you know <sighs> also you know because you don't have a garage it's weather permitting so there is days out there that you we can't work on the cars because it's pissing down raining and it has happened it has happened it happened through halfway through doing the freaking car so that's when you say pack up but you just press v, uh, keep going you know and get it done yeah, you're good. Pull it out. Pull it out. Yeah, no. Well, all right. I'll give it a push then. There we go. What about now? Can you try that now? Whoa, they're heavy bars. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to change them. They're thick. You'll it's... see the difference between these control arms and when we're going to be removing the other control ar arms, why I wanted to swap them. They, um, they're a lot thicker, obviously, um, stronger, so that helps the handling, the rigidity of the car. Alright, so this is, once again, it's a lock, um, nylon lock nut, so this is 18 mil. And this is 24 mil. Um, super long bolt. Why? It goes through the subframe, and it holds. Um, it holds lower control arm. Yeah. So it does two jobs. It strengthens oh. it, and it holds. So. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Also, working on elements, we get a lot of motors here, and you're gonna get eaten alive. Yes. When it gets darker. So, Igor, can you please pass me 18? Uh, either rattle or whatever. We're gonna do the top one while we're here. Might yep. as well. Yeah, oh, okay. 18. Yeah, it is 18. On this side as well too. Um, I don't have an 18. I'll, I'll try the gun. See if we can. Yeah, I can fit it. Yeah. What do you have? 18. Pass me 18. Normal one. Let's see if it works. No luck. Yes? No? Yeah, so, no luck. <laughs> Once no again, luck. 
you know, this is really handy tool, really good to use, make your job a lot easier on some things, but obviously because the shape of it and stuff like that, sometimes you can't get to some places. But once again, really recommend it. Uh, bro, would you pay for this? $139 just for the skin. So $139 just for that? Minus the battery, minus, minus the charger. The so just this? Yep, that's, that's $139. That's $139, but it's really worthwhile. It's not... Look, it's not too cheap, but it's not too expensive for what it does. It's pretty good. The reason why I bought it, because I had four batteries and I had a charger. So... He's already had some Ryobi products. Uh, he's got a cordless drill, you know, and a few other bits and pieces. And, um, yeah, uh, makes sense. So, yeah, pretty good for the price that you get. Anyway, now pass me a breaker bar. It's right next to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I gotta go up. Yes, you do. Oh, this one's easier. Oh, it was not as super tight as holding the harbor bridge. No, well, I assume because the lower one. Uh, maybe it puts a lot more weight to it. Got a lot more weight on the lower control arm than it is on the upper control arm. So as you guys can see, we already loosened it up. We took the load off it and it's not dropping down. The reason being is because um, that bracket actually bends in with the force that it's tied up. So it... Um, so... I can just remove the bolt. Here, here you go. Come on, Boris, remove still it. Keep the keep your hand just in case, because you never know. And see, there you go. It's still stationary. Once again, this bracket is pushed in when the whole thing is tied up, and that's what holds it in. And it's, as you can see, quite super tight. You know, it will be better if you grab it from here. It will give you better leverage. What, what's the differential, Boris? Eh? Oh, almost out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There you go. And that's not the thing, bushes. Once again, you see the structural difference. Look, not very familiar with forts. No, we're not. This, uh, we haven't done it before. We're, so, yeah, this is the first time we're doing it all fairline. This is actually our first fairline between us. Well, my first fairline. Uh, Ego had a few forts. Before me, um, I had two. Fair, I had two fair, Falcons, but not Fairline. Um, look, um, not like once again, it could be an aftermarket part, this uh, upper and lower control arms, uh, or it could be just the upgraded factory. Uh, either way, they're a lot better than the standard ones that you get with Fairline that you'll see on my 91 when we're going to be removing that. That's why I want to keep them and put them on. Plus, because they're already these bushes. Are pressed in inside so you can't just remove the bush and put it onto a I, I'm not 100% sure but it could come in two pieces so basically you got this metal cylinder that goes all the way through as you can see and I think it's pressed in but it's actually split in half so it's got two pieces that are pushed in obviously there is grease in between so it doesn't squawk and make a lot of noises um, but the other recommendation that I would recommend and that we're not doing is actually marking which one is up and which way it goes because you can put this this way, you can put it this way. Now I'm not sure if it will make any difference but just in case if you want to definitely make sure that it goes in the same way just put some marking on it, put left right face towards me once again, this can go either way, this way, this way, I can't fit into the camera, it's too bloody long. But um, yeah, just put markings on it guys, also left, right, um, why it should be difference between left and right, got no idea, sometimes it can be.